Hi you all, welcome. Welcome to a Spinal Tap Renewal. <laughs> Today we are going to work the back in different ways, which of course is a heart opening pleasure. Uh, first I want to bring us into partnership with self, so that whatever we do is in service to not only our bodies, but our feeling tone about who and where we are, especially as we are about to begin a new month, enter summer. We are entering eclipse season, which promises to be very cis boomba. So one of the things we can do to withstand the change and the unexpectedness that eclipses bring is to be steady on and to have that spine breathing with us and for us. So come into your Ganesha Mudra, which is Mudra of Partnership and Fortitude as well. Gently pull the elbows apart and bring your fingers, your hands, just in front of your heart. Close your eyes if you wish. And we're going to do five deep breaths with the Kumbhaka, making that space in the breath. And as you breathe, I'm going to read to you one of my favorite poems, which is a reminder of how we can beautifully partner self. This is by Marie Howe called, Even If I Don't See It Again. Even if I don't see it again, nor ever feel it, I know it is. And that if once it hailed me, it ever does. And so it is to myself, I want to turn in that direction. Not as towards a place, but it was a tilting within myself, as one turns a mirror to flash the light to where it isn't. I was blinded like that and swam in what shone at me, only able to endure it by being no one, and so specifically myself, I thought I'd die from being loved like that. So, yes, a morning to partner and love ourselves up, and let us dedicate our practice not only to self, but to someone in need. It may be someone you love who needs your dedication, who can benefit from your practice energetically. So send your wishes and kisses out into the world as you dedicate yourself. It's the only partnering there is, right? All right, you can open your eyes. I assume you're done breathing. Stop, stop all breathing. And then inhale, lift the arms up. Big breath, and we're going to own down and bring the arms in a big hug. So inhale, lift. Ooh. Take a moment to pull the back, pull your, let your fingers pull the back. Take a little contraction here, stretching the upper back. And then take another deep breath and pulling that belly button deeper, let it fall over, dropping the head, stretching the first spinal tap. And then inhaling, lift it up. Continue lifting the arms and bring them back behind you and lift up. You can even push yourself slightly off the floor. Nice, you all. And release. And then bring that right arm up and let's take a twist to really expand the vertebrae. So lift up on the breath and deep twist to the left. Let all the air out. Feel the belly lifting you up to bring more space. Nice. And then coming back to center, we're gonna come over to the right side, press your right hand into the floor. And we're gonna take the left arm around, big. Big, 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 open up. Inhale, look up. And then as you bring that arm all the way around, you press into the floor, contract. You're gonna pull that left arm slightly toward the right knee. And then we're gonna reverse the direction. So inhale, pull the arm all the way back. Open up, open up, open up. And again, pushing the hand into the floor deeply, contract. Belly button back. And two more times, opening out. Feel that wonderful expanse of breath. And let it go. Last time. Inhale and pull it all the way back. Press into that right hand. And contract around. 
And then lifting up, just easy side to side, feeling the length already in your side body as you exhale and inhale. Let the head be heavy here. Now, as you come up this time, instead of taking it back to the right, take those fingers and pull the head down. Fingertips just over that left ear. And close your eyes if you wish, drop the shoulder blade. And as we have been doing, for those who like a little self-massage, open up the jaw, press into the neck, and the shoulder perhaps with that left hand. Just feel where the tension is and breathe into it to release. Nice, you guys. All right, and let's shimmy, shimmy, shake it out before we do the other side. And lifting that left arm up, bring it over to the right knee. Take your twist first, lift up, Press into the floor with your right hand. Get really long here. Make space. And then release it and bring that left hand over to the floor. Right arm now presses around to open up. Inhaling, look up, expand, and exhale. Press that left hand even deeper into the floor. Contract. Reverse it. Inhaling. Open up. And push. Feel the back from the lower back, from the lumbar up into the whole upper mid back opening for you with your breath. And one more time. Inhaling. Open. All the way back around to press. And then side to side, just lifting light. Exhale, side. Inhale. Last time, over. And then as you sit this time, take that left hand and pull the head down. Again, you may close your eyes. This is all neck work, so drop the shoulder. Self-massage if you like. Pulling the jaw open, pulling down into the neck and shoulder groove. Nice, you guys. And release it. And let's shimmy, shimmy, shake it out. And then lifting the arms, inhale. We're going to pull ourselves over onto all fours. You can re-walk yourself back. I'm going to change direction because I think it's easier for you. And a little cat cow here. Again, make it deep and long with the breath. Move your breath into the whole back body. Include your head, of course. And then we're going to come into neutral spine and you're going to take your right foot back and press it into the floor. Stretch into the heel. Press into your hands again and lift that left knee up. High contraction. And we're going to take the leg straight back in plank. Inhale. And then exhale, bring it in. But this time you're going to take it back a little bit higher to a low dog. Keep the leg low, right at hip level, so you stretch the Achilles of the right leg. And one more time, exhale, bringing that knee in as high as you can. And this time we're gonna take it all the way back and up. You can take a high dog. You can bend that knee, open everything up. And then let's bring that left foot forward and step into a lizard of sorts, right? We're, we're not going to drop all the way down, but just breathe into that right hip flexor. Keep it elevated. Stretch down for just a moment. And then we're going to lift into a low crescent. Bring your hands onto that knee and press down into the knee. Again, using the resistance you used on the floor just a moment ago to feel the core lift. Press into that right heel. Really lift the core. And then releasing the hands, let's inhale up. Palms together, bend your elbows. Now, do your best. I know you're really low and tippy, but 
little back bend here. Just a tiny one. Keep lifting those elbows up and slightly forward. Nice. And now uh, reach the arms up. Come all the way up. Straighten both legs. Bring your hands back behind you. Clasp them. Open the heart. And bend that left knee again. Lift your core to stay stable here. Try to bring the arms up as far as you can, overhead, opening the pectoral muscle. And then inhale, release, and bring the arms up one more time. Hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra, and bending the right knee, come on down to the floor. Beautiful, you guys. Lift up once again. Um, this time you can press forward slightly and come into a deep back bend, reaching the arms up in front of you. Don't take the arms back. And then come back, pull yourself back into a centered position, right over that right knee. Hands to your heart and twist to your left. Press down, press down, press down. Again, lengthen the spine here. Looking down at the floor, you're going to turn your right toes over and lift your right knee up. Stay in the twist if you can. And then open up the arms. Take your right hand in front, bring your left hand over, and straighten that left leg again. Pull back. And then bend the left knee, come forward. Stretch it out. Take your time, nice and slow, lifting the core, pull it back. And bending. And pull it back. And bending. This time we're going to lift that left leg and take it all the way back and up. Bend the knee, pull back, open up the hip. Nice stretch into that right heel. And then lifting the left leg, bring it down. And come on down, bending your knees. Come back down onto all fours. And let's take that little opening kriya to the other side. So take your left foot back, press it into the floor, stretch into that heel, lift your core, and lift that right knee right on up. Take it back in plank. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, pull the knee in as high as you can. Now take it back into a very low dog. Just pull back, stretching into the left Achilles and hamstring. And then exhale, bringing that knee all the way in again. Take it back and up into your dog. Way up, way up, way up. And then we're going to bring it forward into your lizard. Don't lower the left knee. Just stay in a nice, easy stretch here. Find the tight places this morning and breathe into them. And then we're going to take a nice deep breath and rise up into your low crescent. Press into the right knee. And as you press, lift your core. It should feel just the same way it did when you were in Lifting off that knee off in plank. Nice, you guys. And then bringing the hands up, palms together, bend your elbows. Little back bend here. Stay steady in that thigh. Nice. And then inhale, lift the arms, come all the way up, straighten both legs. And bring your hands behind you. And Exhale over, coming back to bend your right knee again. Lift the arms overhead again, working the breath into the pectoral muscle. Make sure your head is down and soft. And release. Inhale. And bring those arms up. And Anjali Mudra, bring them to your heart, bending the left knee. Come on down, and let's take a deep breath and twist to your right. Take some time here because you're really stable. Really press that left elbow 
Open up, lengthen the spine as you do this. Make sure the hands stay in the center of the chest. Nice, you guys. And then inhale, open the arms. And bring that right arm over and stretch your left leg back and hang. And bending the right knee, lengthen the spine. And stretch it, pull it back. And once more, bending that right knee. You can lengthen the spine here as well. And then pull it back, exhaling. And bend that knee. Plant your hands, lift that right foot up and back. Bend the knee, open up. You can take that leg slightly over to the side if that feels good. And to bring that foot all the way down, bend your knees, and as you come down to the ground, open the knees out, because you're going to come back into Anahasasana, which is a, an elongated child's pose. This is also known as a heart-melting pose. So pull the hips back, lengthen your fingers, really forward, open up that space, bring your third eye to the floor, and gently rub that third eye open. And inhaling, let's come up, turn your toes, come back up into your dog. And lifting the right leg up, step into your Virabhadrasana one. So the back heel comes down instantly. Let's come back into a nice back bend. So bringing your left arm up, right hand either to your lower back or to the back of your left thigh. Stretch it up again. Really lift up in order to make space before you go back. And then come center, bring that left hand to your heart and bring the left elbow over the knee. Now, if you can do that with the left heel down, great. Then lift the left heel up, which is also great. Feel the length happening and then Open both arms, front to uh, top to bottom, I should say. Left hand in front of that right foot. Turn your feet to the right. Let's open up the IT band. So inhale, lift. Exhale, hip comes down. Don't sink into your shoulder here. And inhale, lift it up. And exhale, keep that left leg nice and straight to get extra stretch. And once again. And this time when you come down, let's bend the left knee. And we're going to wrap around into half lord. And you all know, get your both sit down bones down. If you can't get the sit bone down, then just lengthen out the left leg, which is fine. More important to have the sit bones down, right? But once again, let's spiral and lengthen the spine. Use your exhale, press down into that right hand. Use that strong energy against the earth to rise up. And then coming back, let's grab that right foot and just a little soft bend and lengthening. Again, working the hamstring. Nice, you all. And then bending that right knee, bring it down where you were. Turn your torso to the left, and you're going to turn and stand into your standing split. So lifting that left leg up, stretch it out. If you want to balance here, you can. You can grab that ankle, but not necessary. Just feel the length in the body. Stretch those left toes up. And then hands to the floor. Bring that left foot down. Hang for just a moment. Shake it out. Shake your brains out. Right? Let everything fall over. Uttanasana. And then bending your knees, rise into your Utkatasana. 
Um, take your twist to the right. Nice, you guys. All right, we're going to take one more stretch here before we stop this and go to the other side. But open up. And as you lift up, you can just bring that right knee in your left hand. <laughs> Boy, do your best to stay twisted. And then bring the foot over the left knee and come down in your number four for a stretch. Come down to the floor, come down to a block. Flex the right foot and just take this as a stretch for your hips. Right? Get, breathe into the back body here and stretch it out. If anybody wants to do a little galavasana and come into an arm balance, you may, but mainly this is just a stretch time. All right, so keep lifting your core up. And then we are going to set your dristi. We're going to rise up, let that right foot slide over in your garudasana. And then lift the knee, right knee up, and take it back into your vera one. Inhale, a little back bend, and exhale, over you go, taking that left leg back and up. And let's start the other side. And bringing that left foot forward into your vera one. And again, come into your back bend, and we're going to take that left arm back behind us, either to your back or your thigh, stretch it up. And right hand to your heart and take the twist over that left knee. You can keep the right heel down, lift the left arm up, keep your right hand in the center of your chest and then release the right heel. Open up. The right arm, bring it down in front of the left foot, turn your feet to the left, and we're going to take our IT stretch. So lifting up, inhale, exhale, lower the hip down, inhale, lift it up, and exhale. One more time, lift it. And then exhale, you're going to bend the right knee and you're going to come down into your half lord. So this is just to lengthen the spine here. So bring that left hand back to the floor. Press down so you sit really tall as you exhale into that spiral. Nice, you guys. And then release it. Taking the left foot up. Nice hamstring moment here, so be soft, bend, pull it into your chest and lengthen out on the breath. <clears throat> yeah, and bending that knee, bring the foot back to where it was in your half lord. Turn your torso to the right, bring your hands to the floor in front of you and turn all the way around and lift into your standing splits. Again, you may balance here or keep your hands on a block. Of course, you can bend your knees, whatever works for you. And then bring your hands to the floor, lower that right leg down. Take a moment in your Uttanasana just to hang, shake your head. If anyone wants to come into Parastasana, you can stand on your hands and of course bend your knees, right? It's early days yet, so just bend your knees, let your chakras talk to each other, drop your head. Then, releasing the hands, we're going to bend the knees and roll up into your Uttakatasana. Stretch it out, get really low, pull your core up. Pull your weight slightly back. And then hands to the heart, take the twist to the left. Take a moment here, check that your knees are in alignment. 
Really press down, open the chest up toward the ceiling. Now, set your drishti on the earth. We're going to open the arms, and you're going to rise up with that left knee in your right hand. <laughs> I'm going to come off my mattresses here onto my squishy floor. So, you can now come into a number four, cross that foot over, head for a block, head for the floor, flexing the left foot. Again, taking the stretch here for your hips any way that feels good. And if you want to work in here, Galabhasana, do so, but absolutely not required. Now, you're going to lift up your hull and bring that left leg over in your Garudasana. Lord have mercy. I need some balance. Where's my pills, my balance pills this morning? Right, my shoe pod. And then lift up. Take that foot back into your bureau one. Big breath here of relief, a sigh of relief. Take it over and take that right foot back. And let's step that right foot forward into your Vira 2. I'm going to change sides on you so I can face you. So you're still lifting up. Make sure you don't take that right knee with you. Oh, open up. Let's take a moment to deepen into your warrior. And feel that really strong warrior energy inside. Really stable, balanced. <laughs> Not ready to do battle, perhaps, but ready to move into unknown territory, which takes a lot of courage. And then pulling back, inhale, stretch it out. And straighten that right knee, lift up, and let's pull back, take your bow or curtsy here. Bending the left knee, bowing your head, and perhaps taking a moment to thank the earth for all her blessings. On that inhale, lifting up. Keep both legs straight. Open up, pull the hips back for Trikonasana. And take it over. Again, use your blocks. You all stay very light here. Keep the spine really long. If you want, you're actually probably better off coming up higher and getting longer than trying to reach the floor and cramping everything in. And inhale, lift up. Turn the right foot parallel so you're now in prasavita. Bring your hands back behind you. Pull the chest open. Take a deep breath and reach forward. Bring your hips slightly forward. And open up those arms. Stretch into your pecs, bending the right knee, take a breath, and then bending the left knee, just a few side to side stretches. Take your breath into the inner groin, where you may be feeling the tightness. Um, come center. Release the hands, come down. Now, this is the opportunity for those who would like to do headstands, whether it's the lamba or tripod, please go ahead and take your headstand. Um, if, or your baby pod, just bring the knees onto your elbows. Those of you who do not want to do headstands this morning, let's go ahead with the stretches, right? So. Bring your right hand over to your left leg and pull yourself around. And then bend the right knee and pull away. And release. Bring the hands to the floor in the center of your mat. And now bend the left knee. And I want you to take a block or a cushion 
and we're going to come back and sit on that block or cushion. Or you can sit on the floor, right? If you have nice wide open hips, you lucky person. <laughs> Press the left knee back. Those of you in headstands, stay in your headstands, you're fine. If you want to come out of the headstand, just join us in the stretch. Nice, you all. All right. Pushing the knee away, however you do that, stretch over that right leg. Take your chest toward the right knee. And then inhale, lift. Bring your right hand over to your left shin. Lift the left arm and stay really flat and take your stretch here. Now don't pull that left knee in. Keep it wide open. You may even want to push against the knee instead of grabbing the shin. Whatever works for you here. And inhale, lift up and stay right where you are, especially if you're on a cushion or a block like me. Pull the right foot in, extend the left leg out. Take your twist. And then push the, the right knee open. Take your chest toward the left leg, any way that works for you here. Wherever your tightness is, just make the stretch work for your particular body in this moment. And breathe into it. And then inhale, lift. Bring your left hand to your shin. Or if you prefer, just stay wide open. Drop to the left side. Uh, inhale, lift. Nice, you all. Bring that left foot in and let's come back to your nice prasadita, right? Come back to an easy stretch here. And we need to finish up the right side, so twisting to the right. Those of you who had been in headstand and may have missed the left side, you may want to do a short left and a short right. So, twisting to the right, bending the left knee, stretch it out. Nice, you all. And just bring your hands over to your right foot, turn both feet forward. Hang over one more time, get a little bit of the hamstring moment here. And then bending that right leg, take it all the way, back and up. And let's, again, bend the right knee, pull back, let the whole right side open up. And if you want, you all, this is optional, you can come down onto your left elbow. You don't have to do that, and you can bring that right knee up to your right elbow. Whether you're on the elbow or not, just take that knee in and out. And once again, and up. Last time, and pull yourself back and up. Nice, you guys. And bring that foot down. And now you're going to, we're going to do that Kriya on the other side. So I'm going to turn around. Don't watch. You're in your down dog. You shouldn't be watching anyway, right? <laughs> Lifting your left leg and step into your Virabhadrasana too. And again, take a quiet moment. You may even want to close your eyes and become the warrior. Deepen down into that thigh. Make sure the knee is heading out over the toes. Feel that quiet power, that resilience to see you through anything. And then open your eyes and let's pull back into reverse or dancing warrior. And inhale, straighten that left leg, pull the arms up, big breath. Bend the right knee, a little bow, exhale. And inhale. Keeping the legs straight, lift it up. Pull the hips back. Open the chest, be light. Come down to a block, to the leg, to the floor. But just keep that lightness. Feel the feet really supporting you, working with and down into the earth. And 
inhale, lifting up. This time, instead of the feet being parallel, we're going to bring them in slightly and turn them out into your goddess. And we're going to take a deep breath. Lift the arms, lift the arms, drop it down, drop it down. Keep that tailbone underneath you. Keep your belly lifted. And then the hands come down to the earth. Now, don't stick your butts out here, right? Drop them down and take a moment to really press the thighs back. Open those knees up. And then bringing the right hand either to a block or to the floor. Stay low and open up the left arm. Don't pull the left arm back behind you. Stay in the shoulder girdle here, right? And then exhaling, bringing that hand down, lifting the right arm. Open up, look up to those right fingers. And bring that hand down and straighten the legs and just hang over. Again, use your blocks if you wish. And bending your knees, come down into your deep goddess once again. Opening up those inner groin muscles. And we're going to take the ultimate inner groin pose. We're going to take frog. So if you have wonky knees, I want you to get a cushion under both knees if you like. You're going to come down and open up the knees. You put cushions under them. Line the feet up behind the knees. In other words, don't pull your feet in towards you. Get them as wide as you can, which is why you may need the cushion, right? Be careful of the knees here. Push the hips slightly back. And then go ahead and take a moment of rest. And now, move your exhale into the tightness. Stay very conscious, don't go anywhere. And the more uncomfortable this is, the more you need to focus on the breath. you guys inhale lift up now if this is really tight for you be very careful as you make the transition I want you just to walk out onto the floor for a moment let the legs be soft sort of lengthen them out and take a rest close your eyes and you can feel your legs sort of floating up right after that intense stretch they tend to get really light and floaty here which feels good All right, nice you all. Bring your hands back underneath you. Come back onto child's pose. And just for a moment, let's rise up onto your shins. Bring your knees underneath your hips. So make sure that knee, your knees are parallel. And let's do a little bit of work in Ustrasana. So I'm gonna turn sideways again. So turn your toes over or take your block back between your feet, you can do this, which is a really nice way to treat your back. Take your block to your right foot or your ankle. Um, and pressing down, lift that left arm up. Keep your shoulders as square as possible. Don't twist into this, right? So just press down into the heel or to the block and lift up behind the heart. And exhale, bring it down. Change sides, either with your block or without. Play with it, see what works for you. And uh, lifting up, again, if your back is really sore, you will just put your left hand back on your back. To remind you that you always have extra sustenance here. Reach that right arm up. And release. And come down into hair for a moment, so lifting your core. Slowly changing the back, very slowly. Bring your head down close to your knees, then lift your hips up. Come onto the top of your head, grab your heels, and stretch your necks. And then releasing. Come on up through the contraction. 
and massage. Take your fists, take your hands in your fists. Massage the lower back, massage the mid back. <coughs> Wherever you feel a tightness, release it with a little self-love, right? Nice, you guys. And let's come on down. Come back into your dog. And we need to we need to balance out the left side. So just step that left foot forward and hang over for just a moment. If you remember on the other side, you you have this last hamstring stretch. And then we're going to rise up and we're going to move into a new Kriya. So I would step the back foot in a little bit. We're going to come into Parsvottanasana. So you can open the arms. You can clasp them behind you. You can grab your elbows. You can come into Namaskar. You can grab a strap. It doesn't matter. One should really open up your arms and back. So taking a deep breath, exhale forward, lengthening, pull the left hip back. Don't die for this. You want a long flat back here. Include your head in that flatness. Weight is on both feet equally. Nice. And then inhale. Coming up, open the arms out. Now you are going to want a block, I'm sure. Take that block on the outside of your left foot. And exhale, pull the left hip back. We're going to come into that nice twist. So left hip back, open up the left rib cage. Don't overturn the left arm. Press into the floor or into a block. Open the chest. And then exhale, bringing that left hand down. Bring the left hand down in front of your left foot. You're going to open up the right side as much as you can, pull the left hip back. Now, looking down at your left hand, bend the left knee and come up into your half moon. Open up, open the chest. If you can bring that left hand to your heart, do so, but not required. And then deeply bending the left knee, bring the right foot down, settle down. Come back into your dancing warrior. Inhale. Uh, let's just take that much on the other side. So come on down. Take that left foot back and up. If you'd like to do a vinyasa, you may stay in dog. If you want to do a vinyasa, come into your chat. You're up dog. And you're down dog. And lifting the right foot up, you're going to take a short step here, right? And rise up in your heart. So hips are square. If you have trouble squaring your hips, you guys, bring your hands to your hip. Um, we're going to open the arms, clasping behind you any way you wish. Elbows, hands, namaskar, and take a breath. Pull the hip, right hip back. Lengthen over. Let this feel the spine getting as long as possible here. Keep pulling that right hip back. Weight on both feet equally. And then inhale. Lift it up. Open up the arms. And you may want your block here, so bringing that left hand down into your twist. The block can be inside or outside the foot. And press down. Again, don't pull that right arm back. Keep it in the chest. Pull the right hip back, though, and open. Open, open, open. Feel that delicious ability to expand. And then bringing that right hand down. You can put it on a block if you like, but bring the right hand in front of... No, first of all, we're going to bring that right hand beside the foot. Take the left arm and the whole left side of the body up. Now bring the right hand in front of the right foot, bend that right knee, and rise in your Ardha Chandrasana. Keep your drishti on the floor, open the chest, 
If you like, you can bring that right hand to your heart or not. Bending the right knee, lower the left foot down. Come on. Excellent. Come on back. And over we go. And take that right leg back. A vinyasa if you wish. Chaturanga. Or stay in your dog. And pull back into your dog. And just for a moment again, bend your knees. And come back into Anhasasana. Heart melting pose. So open up. Pull back. Get really long. Feel your practice filling your body, supporting you, expanding you, giving you new life. All right, you guys. Now I should come to this side and turn around again. All right. Coming up and turn your toes, come into your dog. Uh, lifting that right leg, pull it through, and once again, come into your Virabhadrasana. Now, we're getting so twisty, I'm hoping you can come into a bind. But take your straps, take your tea towels, and if this doesn't work for you, don't bind. It's not important. But taking a deep breath, first of all, come over, press that right thigh open, pull the left arm up. This should be nice and wide and easy feeling by now, I hope. Take your strap in your left hand or your tea towel or your sweater, your towel, and drop it down, grab it with your right hand. Give yourself enough space to lift the chest to pull the whole right rib cage over and up above your right thigh. Try not to bend around the corner, but to be really long here. And release it and come back all the way around. Stretch it back and let's come around the world. So lifting, straightening the right foot slowly, slowly for those of you who haven't done this. Turn your feet, just keep turning your feet, turning your feet, turning your feet. So the feet face the whole other side. Bring your hands back into the Anjali Mudra. The left knee is bent and you bring your right elbow over that left knee and press down. Just stretch into it, look up. Again, lengthen the spine here, deep twist. Press in, right elbow to left knee. And then open the arms. And we're going to come all the way back around. So turn your feet, turn your feet, turn your feet, turn your feet, turn your feet. Let's come back down, bringing the left hand down, and bring the right arm over, and let's just take a soft stretch for a moment. So bending the left knee, open up the right foot, and press against the thigh. And then reaching that right arm back, bend the left knee, grab the foot, stretch your quad. Try to pull slightly forward here, Nice, and then releasing the foot, stretching the right leg, pull back. From here you will take your left hand on your right foot and pull it back across into your Gomukhasana. Your blocks are right here so you can sit on a block or a blanket. And we want to open up the arms. So let's take, the right knee is on top, but on this one I want you to lift the right arm, drop it, take your tea towel or your strap in that right hand, bring your left hand around behind, grab your clothes if you like, but grab the strap or the tea towel and really pull that right elbow up. Bring the rotation of the arm, an outward rotation, bring it as close to your right ear as you possibly can. You may stay here, those of you who wish, you can also just take an easy forward bow. And 
inhale, lift up. And releasing the arms gently, we're going to come forward into dolphin arms. So make sure those elbows are underneath your shoulders. You're going to turn your toes, lift your hips. Then uncross your feet, just walk them into your dolphin. Pull the hips back here, lift your core, pull the heels down. And then lift that right leg up and pull yourself up into your dog. And let's flip our dog. So bending that right knee, flip open. You can do wild thing here. Open up the chest, pull that right arm all the way open. Lift, 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 lift. And bring that right hand over, plank, and chaturanga if you wish. Inhale, up, and take it back. Do I have to flip around again? <laughs> I don't know which is more confusing for you. Well, let's try it this way. So lifting your left leg up, you're going to bring it forward and come into your Virabhadrasana too. Pull it back. And we're going to come over into our bind. So take your strap in your right hand, reach out, and reach that left arm underneath. Use your tea towel, try to lift the chest, bring the left rib cage over that left thigh, look down at the floor. Open up, press into the outside of the right foot. Don't forget that back leg. It's really important for sustenance here. Nice. And then release it. And pull all the way back. We're going to come around the world. So straighten the left leg. Try start turning your feet to the right. Turn, turn, turn the feet. Nice. Bend the right knee. Bring your hands into the Anjali Mudra. Take your left elbow over the right thigh. And now press down. Look up. Really press into the chest. Feel your spine lengthening here. Open the arms. And we're going to take the return journey. So lifting that left arm. The feet simply start to turn. Turn. Turn the feet. Turn the feet. Turn the feet. What did I do here? Ah. Uh, so I come back down and around, I think, and lift up, lift that left leg up. I think I left something out, but will you live? Flip your dog. Oh, oh yes, I did. I left a huge amount out, as my co-conspirator just showed me. Come back. <laughs> come back to where you were. And uh, we're going to come down into the stretch, right? So release. First of all, right knee down onto the floor. I don't know how I could forget these. I love this stretch. Press your left knee open. Oof. This should feel so good. Soft resistance into the hip. And then try to stay as far forward as you can and reach back for that right foot. And you all know you can always come down onto the left shin doing this. You can also use your straps. But try to stay low and get deep into that um, quadricep. Long breath. And then release it. You're going to pull back for your left hamstrings, lengthening, lengthen your spine here as well. And then take a deep breath and pull that left foot across. <clears throat> Sit on a block, sit on a cushion, come into your Gomukhasana. With the left knee on top, we're going to bring the left arm up. Take your tea towel or your strap in your left hand, drop it down, unch that right arm up. You can always just grab your clothes too here, right? Lift the left elbow. Try to rotate it outwardly so it comes closer to your left ear. Breathe into the stretch. And then if you wish, you can take a forward fold. If that doesn't feel good, don't do it. And inhale, lift up, 
and release the arms. And how are your shoulders? You good? We can roll the shoulders back just for a moment. We're going to move into your dolphin. So elbows under the shoulder girdle, fingers wide. Turn your toes, lift your hips, uncross your feet. Take a moment to pull the hips back here, get out of your shoulder girdle. And then lifting that left leg, pull yourself up into your dog. And let's do a little vinyasa. So come into your plank, chat, up dog, and down dog. Nice, you guys. Take another moment here, come down onto your knees. And instead of doing Ustrasana, I want to take a little quad stretch here. So again, use your blocks. I don't know how your knees are. You have to take care of them first. That's the most important thing. So you can, you might want to sit on a block back here. You're just going to bring your hands back. Lift your hips up. If your knees are okay with this, if they're not, don't do it. Or the other thing that really helps the knees is take a soft cushion or your towel, your tea towel, and put it underneath, put it between the knees, which really supports them. And then you can take this backward journey. Come onto your forearms if that's comfortable. Try to keep your knees on the floor. Lift up underneath the heart. Let the head just be heavy, but your eyes are wide open. All right, nice, you guys. And then release it and come back up and just take a nice flat back forward. So stretch it out just for a moment. Feel the spine elongating. And inhale, roll it up. Okay, I want to do the dance. And this may be one of our last times with the dance because we're moving into June. I'll see how it goes. So if you have your music on your phone, get your music. For, I think there are a couple of you probably new who do not have music and don't know the dance. My only advice is just listen to the instructions, follow along. And if you like, I will send you the music. Um, it's Panis Angelicus by uh, Pavarotti and Friends. So bread of heaven, right? The bread of grace, which we ask for and dance with over and over. So get your music lined up if you have it. Come down into your goddess pose. I'm going to turn my music on. From our deep goddess, we take a breath and we inhale, rising up, lifting, expanding, and stretch slightly over to the left side, lifting the right heel, and then turn the right foot parallel, twist to the right, bending the right knee, bow over it, exhale, surrender, inhaling, lift. We're going to change direction, so set your drishti first, turn your left foot. Bend the knee and come over and bow in your Vera one. Exhale, drop your hands. Inhale, lifting up. Keep bringing that left arm back behind you. Right hand comes to the heart. And exhale, bringing that elbow over to the left knee. Open the arms, release the right heel. Left arm comes over, both hands on the floor. Bend the elbows and bow, exhale. Inhale, lift, shoot that left foot back, lift the right leg into your dog, and then bring it forward into your lovely lizard, reaching the right arm all the way around. Release that foot, and then hands back behind your hips. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, sweep that right arm around to grab the right foot, and extend up into your hamstring. Look up and then bow. Push yourself 
yourself up and over into your Padigasana. Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. And inhale. Bring the left hand to the floor and take that left foot into your Vashistasana. You can bring the right knee in or you can do a toe lock. It doesn't matter. Bring, bend that right knee and come into your wild thing. All the way around. Now, bring the right hand to the floor and pull that right knee in. Turn the left foot over. Grab the knee or the right foot with your left hand. And then bend it. Pull the knee forward. Take a breath. And bow, exhale. Inhale, lifting the chest, turn the left toes over, and shoot that right foot back, bring the left leg up, step into your Virabhadrasana too. Back into your Dancing Warrior. Straighten that left leg, reach out. Bend the right knee and bow. Exhale. Inhale, lift. Stretch out into your Trikonasana. Look down at the floor. Bring the right arm over. Bend both knees and tuck them in. And then lift that right leg up in your splits. Bring the right foot behind you. Cross it. Rise up with the right arm over. Bring that right foot around. Take your side stretch. Exhale. Surrender. Side step into your goddess, inhale, exhale, take it down for the other side. My music begins, inhaling, lift it up. Feel that lightness, that wonderful connection, inhale. Pull over to the right, lifting the left heel. Now turn that left foot parallel. Bend the left knee and twist to your left. Exhale, take a bow over that bent knee. Inhale, lifting up. Look to your right. Turn that right foot, Vira one. Exhale, flowing over. Inhale, lifting. Keep moving that right arm back, all the way back around behind you, lifting into your back bag. Left hand to your heart. Exhale, left elbow to the right knee, open up the right arm, left hand to the floor, right arm over to the floor and bending both elbows, bow, <coughs> exhale, inhale, lift, shoot that right foot back, lift the left leg and bring it into long lizard, reach the left arm forward and pull the right knee in all the way around, low, 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 low. Bringing the right hand back, lift the chest, open the heart. Uh, exhale, bring the left arm all the way around, grab the left foot, and stretch it up, look up, look up, and then bow. Lower the left leg, push into your right hand, up into your Padigasana. Stretch it out. Inhale. Right hand to the floor, release the right foot into your Vashistasana. Bring that left knee in or the left toe, it doesn't matter. But then take the left foot behind you for a wild thing. Open it up. Bring that left arm all the way around. And then to the floor, bringing the left knee in. Turn the right foot over. Grab the knee or grab the left foot. Bending that knee, hands to the floor, bring the knee in, and take a deep breath to bow, exhale. Inhale, turn the right toes over, shoot the left leg back, bring your right leg up and dog. Step it through into your Vera two, Dancing Warrior. Straighten the right leg, inhale. Bend the left knee and bow. Inhale, lift up. Keep the legs straight for Trikonasana. Over, lightness. Bring the left hand over, turn to face that right foot, tuck both knees in, and then stretch the left leg up. 
bring that left foot, cross it behind you, and as you rise up, the left arm comes overhead. And you inhale, bring that left foot around, press into the left metatarsal, stretch it out. Inhale, open, step into your goddess again. Give thanks, right? And exhale, down we go, back to the earth from whence we came. Nice work, you guys. Beautiful job. All right, let's come down onto the floor and do a little back work from the floor. So, bending your knees, have them nice and parallel. Sit tall, inhale, and exhale. Come halfway back. Make sure your shoulders are soft. Now stay in contraction and come back up. We're going to extend the right leg up. And exhale, leave the leg up if you wish and come halfway down, pulling into the core. Stay in your contraction. Come back up and bring, bend that knee, bring the foot down. Left leg comes up. And exhale. Halfway back. Inhale, lift it up. Take the stretch. Bend that knee. One more time, one more set, right and left. So just extending from a nice flat back. I want you to really feel the contraction here. Blow it out. And inhale. Lift it. And release. Last one of this. So lift it, long spine, and then contract. And as you contract, actually make the spine longer. Don't close it in, right? And then inhale, release the contraction, bring those feet down, and all the way down, exhaling through your contraction, all the way, all the way. Nice, you guys. Now bring your feet in close, and let's do a little bridge. So inhale, Curl the tailbone up. Clasp your hands if you wish. Bring your shoulders in and breathe behind the heart. Get really high. Try to let go of your buttocks muscles so your back gets longer here. Pull your knees forward. Get a little bit higher. And then releasing your hands, exhale. Soften slowly, slowly down the vertebrae. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall open. Right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. Now do close your eyes. Think great thoughts. Feel how wonderfully well your partnership is going with self. And then Open your eyes. You can plant your feet back on the floor again, move, but move the feet away from you. Take a deep breath and reach forward and come and sit. And we're going to come into fish prep. So sit on your hands. The fingertips face the feet. Sit really tall. Legs are really strong here. And pull the elbows back together and lift up under the heart really strongly. Come onto your forearms, legs are strong, and then let the head drop into space. Make sure you can still swallow here, right? If you can't swallow, you need to lift your head up a little bit, but breathe. Feel that heart space opening for you. And then releasing the hands, you can just lie back down again. Let everything come into place. Now, we're going to come into full Matsuyasana. So those of you who have neck issues, I want you to come back into your fish prep, which is what we just did. Those of you who would like to come into your full Matsuyasana, just remember, strong, strong legs. Right? First of all, you're going to come onto the top of your head and really lift the chest. The legs are incredibly powerful. You can either help yourself and stay on your forearms, which is fine, you can bring the hands into the Anjali. You can lift the legs if your back is okay. And then you can take the arms overhead in the same angle as the legs, hopefully. Everything lifted, open and strong. Breathe. There should be almost no weight on your head. 
Your legs should be doing 90% of this work, right? And then bring the hands back to the heart, to the floor, lower the legs, and then very gently, once again, lie very, very flat. All right, good. Now, we are going, to, for those of you who wish, and only for those who wish, we're going to move into a back bend moment. If you don't want to do a back bend, which I totally understand, I want you to do another fish, or you, this can be a, a pose of your choice, something that stretches your back. So if you are coming into a back bend with me, please pay attention to doing it really slowly and with your breath, right? So very, very careful of the neck at every moment here. Okay. So bring your feet in as close to your buttocks as possible. And bring your hands by your ears. Keep your elbows parallel. Don't let the arms splay out here. Really important that you stack the arms for this. Take a big breath and exhale. Just lift the hips. Just see how that feels, right? Then take another deep breath and exhale onto the top of your head. No further. Check that your elbows are really parallel here. Don't let the arms open. Now, you may want to just stay here or you may want to push up. Come up onto half toe, which will give you more space. Take your heart forward through your arms if you wish. You can bring the heels down. Breathe into it. Feel the ecstasy. Done. Slowly, you're going to lift your chin. Do not come onto the top of the head. Come onto the back of the head. So your chin comes down. You come gently onto the shoulders. Now, don't pull your knees in, which is always the reaction, but rather lie flat. Legs open. Close your eyes for just a moment, especially those of you who did the back bend, and just feel your back settling into the earth. And then take that right leg up and take a little stretch. Again, you may want to keep your eyes closed here. There's a lot to feel in the spine at this moment from all this stretching and opening. Just feel how you are upon the earth. Feel that wonderful balance, that quiet strength. And then if you wish, take the leg in your right hand or your sort of strap, take it out to the right side, pull your left hip down, take your left hand on top of that left hip and keep your whole left lower back on the floor, please. And then lifting that right leg, take it in your left hand or your strap, sickle the foot, right? So you're going to pull the outside of the foot, stretching the outside of that right leg. Take it over to the left. Now this time you can take the right side off if you wish. Just feel into the outer, yeah, maybe the IT band a little bit, but certainly the ankle and the outer foot. Get a nice stretch here. Nice, you guys. And then bring it back, bring it down, and let's take the left leg up. Hamstring for just a moment. Again, feeling your spine and how it lengthens on the earth. And then either strapping it, or you can keep your knee bent, but take it out to the left side. Right hand on the right hip, right lower back on the floor. And then lifting that leg up, take the left foot in your right hand, the outside of the foot, sickle the foot, stretch the whole outer lining here. Take it over to the side. If you want to take your left arm out, you can. And bring it back. Nice, you guys. And lay it down. Now, I think your backs are in good shape. I want to come up into your shoulder stand with a twist. So for those of you who have not done the twist, you might want to watch once, or you might just want to take a, a plain shoulder stand. As you all know, this is your time for you. So if I start to do things that don't feel 
right for your body as you close down, ignore me. Listen to the big boss, that's you. Okay, coming in to shoulder stand with a twist. I'm gonna turn this way so you can, I think, see it more easily on the right side. Now bend your knees and kick it up. First of all, find your center position, right? Get those arms up high on the back, straighten the, the legs again. Really strong legs. Try to bring the hips over the shoulders as best you can, the feet over the hips. Stretch it up. All right, for those of you who would like to take a twist, you're going to take your right palm and you're going to drop your, your coccyx, your, your tailbone into your right hand, not your hip, but right in the center of the back. And you're going to sit down and pull the belly up. If you do just that much, that's a lot. For those of you who are doing, who have had this before, you can take your right foot over and grab it with your left hand and stretch your left leg away. Open up. And then lift up, come up. You can take the other leg if you wish, or you can come back into your plain shoulder stand. Lovely, lovely shoulder stand. Strong legs. Take the twist to the left. And again, the palm of the left hand is underneath your coccyx. So really check that out. Now, try not to twist here, but to stay really balanced. And if this is difficult, keep your right hand on the floor. If you're okay, you can bring that left foot back and grab it or not. I seem to be having trouble on the side, so you may not grab it for long. And then lift it up. And bending your knees, you can either bring them down around your ears or you can straighten the legs and come into your plow. Again, stay off your necks, you all. Be very gentle. Breathe into your spine. You may stay here as long as you like, but we can start to roll down the spine. So if you'd like, grab the back of your legs, take a big breath, pull those legs into you, and slowly, slowly release the spine down, really slowly. When the legs come overhead, let's cross the right knee over the left, bending the knees. Take the knee in your left hand, take it over to the left, and open up your right arm. Close your eyes, breathe into the twist, and surrender. Make sure your exhale is now longer than your inhale. And release it. Come back to center, legs up, cross the left over the right, take that left knee in your right hand, pull it down, open up the left arm. You can look to your left if you wish. Again, breathe into it. Feel how much more open you are. And then release it, come back to center, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, happy baby. <laughs> so, open yourself to your happiness. Whenever we partner ourselves well, we have more joy. We know who to depend on, right? We know who to turn to in times of need. And when we do that for self, we do it for others. So we have a big job, particularly now as the world turns and churns. Partnering is primary. So, and so is happiness, right? Um, release the feet. You can come into your Supta Baddha Konasana one more time, or you can go straight to your Shavasana. But if you wish, right hand to your belly, left to your heart, close your eyes. And feel the connections you have made from belly to heart, 
heart to throat, throat to third eye, back again to the core. And feel those layers all melting together in support of you. You can stay in your supta bada as long as you wish, but you can also just release everything down into your shavasana. Out. I have a lovely Mary Oliver, I think I told Mary Oliver, as, as closure today. No, I chose Kabir. They're all beautiful, aren't they? We need our poetry. We need our poetry and our music like we need our breath. More and more and more. This is Kabir's The Swan. Swan, I'd like you to tell me your whole story. Where you first appeared and what dark sand you were going toward. And where you sleep at night and what you are looking for. It's morning, swan. Wake up. Climb in the air. Follow me. I know of a country that spiritual flatness does not control, nor constant depression. And those alive are not afraid to die. There, wildflowers come up through the leafy floor, and the fragrance of I am he floats on the wind. There, the bee of the heart stays deep inside the flower and cares for no other thing. That is a wonderful way to enter your Shavasana with all that beauty and all that quiet joy. <laughs>